What's up everybody, this is your boy Trayvon here with Scent Talk TV and today we're going to be reviewing a fragrance that I found at my local Burlington's. It is a flanker of a old school uh, fragrance that was like in I think in the 90s, early 90s or late 90s, I don't know. But uh, only thing I know is it's an old school uh, fragrance and this fragrance is a flanker of it. I haven't seen this fragrance before, no, no breakdowns, no... Uh, no type of reviews or nothing. So I'm assuming this is fairly brand new. And that particular fragrance is Candy's Red Limited Edition. This is a EDT concentration, 3.4 milliliter size bottle. Well, 100 milliliter size bottle, 3.4 fluid ounces. You got the name of the fragrance on both sides of the box. There's the top of the box. There's the bottom of the box with some information. And here is the back. Has the bottle, a picture of the bottle on the back of the box as well as a brief summary of the fragrance as well as ingredients and all that good stuff on the back. Candy's Red for him is a fragrance that truly combines luxury and sophistication. This addictive blend opens with sparkling bergamot and crisp red apple before spicing things up with juniper and sage. The fragrance unleashes a woody trail of smoky, well, smoked cedar and saddlewood for a smooth, clean finish. And here is the bottle. Just like the OG, the OG is a blue bottle, but this is red, obviously. But um, yeah, not too much different from the bottle, it's just red. Atomizer, it's decent. It pushes out a nice amount of juice, so it's okay. So in initial spray, I do get like a very fruity, dry, dusty, somewhat of a dense red apple. When I first tested it out in the opening, I got like a really sharp red, like dense, dusty red apple. And the bergamot brought out a little bit of a fresh citrus, but the freshness in the opening from the bergamot kind of, it's kind of dialed down just a little bit. It's like that red apple is like the main uh, player in this fragrance. Now you do get some saddlewood later on that like, you know, it, I say like 30 minutes to an hour in that saddlewood makes it a little bit more smooth, a little bit more uh, like woody, smooth, like a silky smooth, like a, like a, like a vanilla, sweet, smooth, woody accord mixed in well with that red apple. The red apple is not like a Coral Fantasy by Valentino. It's not that type of a, uh, loud, obnoxious, sweet red apple. This is more of a calm, smooth, chill red apple. It's like kind of like, it's kind of masculine. This scent is like a little bit more masculine, but it still has that sweet, playful fruitiness, you know, for, you know, like teenagers or the younger crowds to pull off. As the fragrance persists, you do get a little bit of a hint of a smoky red apple. You know, you get the smoky red apple from the Coral Fantasy as well, but the saddlewood that's inside of here tames it, smooths it out, calms it down, makes it a little bit more mellow, chill, relaxed. You know, it's not in your face. It's not obnoxious or anything like that. It's more, you know, average to subtle as far as like performance and how the, the notes blend well together. It's not loud or anything like that. It's more of a chill, you know, laid back type of a fragrance. Now you do get some of that soft, sweet, herbaceous sweetness from the uh, juniper and the sage. You know, juniper gives it like a little bit of a, like a piney type of a uh, smell. It's not too obnoxious, it's chilled. It's not too much of a dominant asset in this, in this fragrance, but that sage is what brings it like a soft, somewhat a herbaceous, sweet type of a vibe that's inside of here. But mainly I get, it's like a dry, dusty, smooth, like silky, vanilla like red apple and this is pretty good for the price I, uh the price that i picked this up was like 16 i mean 17 18 bucks at burlington's at first i didn't like it you know i was like man i don't like this I'm about to take it back you know probably just review it and take it back but you know so far for the price it's decent it has a place in my collection now, I did get a compliment at work from this. Uh, one of my lady co-workers did smell this on me and said that I smell nice. Now, I did overspray with this just to see the uh, performance 
if you can over spray to get performance or do you need to dial it back a little bit but i think you need to spray just a little bit heavy in order to get some decent uh projection and longevity just a little bit not a lot yep this fragrance can potentially give you compliments as well now the age range i believe this is like more of a uh middle age on up so the performance was okay i got a good five to six solid hours you know projection was good within the first hour then it set close to the skin a little bit in your uh intimate bubble you know where somebody has to like get a little bit close to smell you but in the first uh hour where it's projection it, it, proje it projects quite nicely because uh my co-worker was like a good five maybe six to seven feet away from me and i was talking to her from a distance and uh she could smell me based from my centro to where i was walking from so in the first hour this performs quite nicely but after that it sits uh close to the skin not all that not too close but you know it's like a average to subtle uh, performance as far as projection and stuff like that seasons to wear this i would say spring fall now uh i think in a high heat it'd be a little bit too cloying because it has that uh that dense sweetness so uh, you probably can't really uh, pull this off in the summertime probably like at nighttime where you can pull this off in the summertime winter time this will choke this bad boy out it doesn't have that much performance or that strength to pierce through the cold so no spring and fall now this compared to the original you know I have smelled the original before it's been a while since I've uh, smelled it but from what I remember uh, from this to the original this one is a little bit more modernized fruitier it has like a modernized fruitiness to this compared to the other one now the other one is a little bit more dated a little bit more old school this is more you can say more modernized a modernized take from the original now should you buy this if you like the original i think you'll like this now i heard a lot of stories and a lot of complaints and a lot of uh different forums uh that was posted about the original where it was reformulated and it doesn't smell the same it doesn't perform the same and stuff like that but you know the original it performed uh quite nicely before i took it back which was a mistake but before i took it back it it did its thing you know it wasn't a beast or anything like that but this one kind of runs in the same category as like the reformulated batch of the of the original so that's all i got for scent talk tv ladies and gentlemen as always you know what to do gotta like comment share and subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything and i will see you guys in the next video be safe out there and be blessed have a good one i'm out of here peace Ooh.